Another cold day out there today. Nine degrees this morning in the kitchen here. Decided to take some of that freshly cooked chicken, roasted chicken that I had, and turn it into some chicken cacciatore. Wanted to keep the carb count down because it's very tough to find low carb pasta. So I got my order in from Vitacost for some shirataki. And what I've done is I've taken a bag of frozen broccoli and I've cooked that in the microwave five minutes on one side, flip it over, put a hole in the bag, cook it five more minutes on the other side. I've also taken some mushrooms and some fresh green pepper and some sweet red pepper and I've combined those with some onion and then I those were nuked in the microwave in a separate bowl as well. I've taken the chunk chicken probably about a full cup, maybe a little bit more than a cup, and I've flaked that, as it were, into chunks, and I have that in a separate bowl, and I'm getting ready to combine everything right here at the stove, so here we go. Let's turn our fire on. Huh. Come on. And for some reason that didn't ignite. So let's do this. There we go. I'm going to get that pan hot. I've got some sauce. I've got some minced garlic. I've got some nice chunk chicken. I have my broccoli sitting here in the bag steaming away. I've got my combination of the onion, the peppers, and uh, the mushrooms in the microwave bowl, which is super, super hot. I've taken the liberty of already taking some of my shirataki. An entire package of this is just four carbs and only 10 calories. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put this together in stages. My first stage is to take my microwave peppers, onions, mushrooms, and throw them in the pan on a medium heat. Yowzer, that bowl's hot. And we're going to spread them out just to get a little sizzle. This is going to be a covered dish momentarily. I'm going to take some of my garlic, minced garlic, which I always have on hand, and I'm going to throw two nice teaspoons of that and just a little bit of the juice to give it that nice garlicky flavor. I've got my own homemade sauce, courtesy of Picnic Table Farming, available on Amazon, both Kindle and hard copy. One of the benefits of that is that I always have fresh veggies. For those that haven't had a chance to see the book cover. Here it is right here. Chock full of pages. Nutri nutritional advice. We'll just go through that real quick. I know it's a shameless plug, but I'm going to do it anyway. Picnic table farming. An idea whose time has finally arrived. Couldn't be more truer than today. So we've got our shirataki. It's all nicely cooked. This is angel hair. We have our vegetables in the pan here that we've added the garlic to, which just is very nice and aromatic for the garlic lovers. And I'm going to add some of my sauce right into the pan here. With our other vegetables. Give it that nice color and flavor. I do make quite a good sauce, if I may say so myself. And I'm going to open my bag of the steamed broccoli, and I'm going to add that now, too. I'm going to drain off the water, because I don't want any dilution of all those great flavors marrying together. And they pretty much did not. 
and used up all of the moisture. This is a pretty economical meal, as everyone today knows that they have to really stretch their their dollar budget. I'm trying to move quick here. And the key to that is just being prepared. So we've got broccoli, red pepper, sweet pepper, green pepper, onion, and mushroom, which is a great combination with some garlic. And I actually want more sauce in there. I do like sauce. I go through great pains to have good sauce. So we'll get that cooking or heating because mostly everything is cooked already. And I'm going to take our chicken, which is chunked, and we started to get this pretty nicely hot. I'm going to pop them in there. We're going to mix that in there a little bit. So we have a nice, colorful, flavorful, hearty meal without breaking the carb bank, which is always the trick if you're diabetic. And I'm going to finish off the rest of that sauce. Stick that in there. I'm going to put the lid on this for a couple of moments. I could have actually used that time frame to plug my book. And we're going to stick that again over top of our shirataki pasta, angel hair, for a nice home cooked meal. Again, what we have in here is some nice mushrooms, some broccoli, some sweet white onion, some red sweet pepper, and some green pepper, and two teaspoons full of uh, minced garlic. So we're going to let those flavors kind of marry one another there, and then I'm just going to add the shirataki in there, heat everything up, and just pop it on the plate. And I'll call this a one pan wonder on the stove, but actually we did two microwave steps prior to. We did the microwave of the broccoli, it was already frozen, and we also microwaved the onion, the peppers, and the uh, mushrooms in a bowl covered so it didn't go everywhere inside the microwave. Because like everybody else, I don't like a filthy microwave either. And if you don't cover things, Splashes build up and then you just keep nuking them and nuking them and they become like uh, It's like mining when you go in there to clean it. I'd rather just keep it clean, but that's just me <laughs> Alrighty, so we got some nice steam going here We've got plenty of sauce This is smelling wonderful We're gonna take our shirataki and we're gonna dump that in there. We're gonna mix that all together just to kind of heat everything up. And then we're going to plate some of this. This is definitely would serve two, maybe even three people. So I'm going to take about half of this and pop it on a plate. After we do one more heat up. I like different consistencies. I like complex flavors to be mixed. I love eating Italian. Kind of tough to find pastas that you can eat. As I said before, the shirataki. Only four carbs for the entire package. And 10 calories. That's about as low as it goes. I haven't found anything else lower than that. You know, even when you use the twisty zooks and 
the other uh, vegetable pastas, they still have more than four carbs. So this is an ideal pasta to use in, in these uh, Italian dishes. We've got that steaming in there. Everything's already bubbling. I can see through the, the lid. You can see the steam right there. I'm going to turn this off. We're going to start to layer this out on the on the plate. You can see the nice chunks of chicken, some broccoli, some of the red pepper. And that's going to be more than enough right there. That's an easy three. And then what I'm going to do is take a sprinkle. Of some Parmesan cheese. And just give it a little dusting. And there you have it. Another original recipe right in Vincenzo's kitchen. Remember to be kind to one another out there. Help your neighbor if you can. Stay well. Be safe. All right, we'll see you.